go visit catnip. We're going to go out to BC. And so BC, sorry, is the short form for British Columbia. So we're going to go out there and we're going to go visit him. I would like to take the train. I think that would be exciting because there's no way I'm driving it. Um, I mean, we could fly, which would be easy enough, but I want to take the train. <laughs> I think I really, 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 really want to take the train. Oh, it was Tyga they decided to, to finish? Yeah. Not a fan. I didn't vote for it. <laughs> I voted for the other two and lost both times. But oh well. I can't remember. I think it's ostriches and something else. Um, one of them had meerkats. And I was like, what am I going to do with meerkats? I do like that the villager and pillager update, but I don't know if that is coming before the biome update. Like it was a little confusing as to which update was coming first. Rox, do you know which one? It was that that's going to be, see, I don't know if you're working as well. So I might be disrupting you in your work. Um, Cause there's two updates coming. One is the villager and pillager. And then the other is the biome update. So one is happening before Christmas and the other one is happening in the spring essentially. So I know the snapshots have been coming out with the villager and pillager stuff, but um, I don't, so it might be that that's coming out. It's gonna be 1.14. Yeah, but when does that come out? That's what I'm excited for. I've been trying to find from the snapshots and people's streams and things what the new village like look like because there's a new plains village and there's new desert village buildings like the buildings have changed and I want to change my village buildings at least the ones on the upper plateau I want them to look like the new ones and I would like to do it before the update because I know this village is not going to update Okay, bye. I don't know if you're going somewhere. But yeah, my YouTube will have on there from when I started and everything as well. It'll all show up. There we go. So it's on there. So yeah, I'm kind of excited for the villager and pillager. I don't know if my village is going to be affected by the villager. Oh, your exit, you're going. All right. Well, see ya. I am here again tomorrow, 9.30 in the morning. I am back again tonight. No idea what I'm playing. Usually don't have a clue what I'm playing in the evening anyways. All right, and have yourself a wonderful day, all right? Thanks for stopping by. Um, Where am I going? Okay, we're not doing that side. We're going this way. We're gonna sleep. Oh, we're quickly running out of space. And we're up. That was a long sleep. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. So we'll clean out down here and we'll use this area. I can see this as being as a really nice courtyard. I, what I don't see is how things will not drop in on us and kill us in our, you know, enjoyment of a courtyard. All right. And, yeah, whoops, uh, switch you for you. I'm like, I need to make a chest. Oh wait, I am full of wood. Of course I can make a chest. <laughs> I can make a crafting table and a chest. And put all this stuff in it. All right, so let's come around. Are we gonna stay on this level? Try to figure out how far out I need to go. And the idea is I don't want to chop up much of this mountain. I want to keep it as much as I can without actually renovating it. Like I renovated everywhere else. I have flattened out all kinds of stuff over there. And the idea is here, we're not going to flatten. We're going to dig into, but that's all we're going to do. We're going to dig like right through to be able to get to the other side. Thank you for your egg. 
which is now filling up. I have three of them on me, which is filling up my inventory. Yay! Okay. I didn't want any more chickens, <laughs> but I would accept them if necessary. I mean, it, it happens. And I'm ignoring your flying comment, by the way, tack back, as you can tell. Um, yeah, flying to, flying out to see catnip is like the equivalent of you flying out for us to go to Barbados, to give you an idea, except for that it's further. It's like significantly further away. Yeah. It is a shorter flight to Barbados than it is to Vancouver. And then I'm not entirely sure from there because I can't remember if he's in if he's in Chilliwack, that's still like a serious bus ride or something to be able to get there. And I want to see Whistler. I have a friend who works in Whistler. And I've never been. I've been to British Columbia. I've been to Vancouver and Victoria. And I did kind of all the little touristy things. I've been to Stanley Park and the aquarium. But I've never been to any of the, like, ski resort areas within... Well, okay, I've been to Gross Mountain. Um, so I've done some stuff. But I haven't done a lot. Hi, how are you? <laughs> he answered me. That is so sweet. Okay, so we're going to have to... And the other idea is, with the villagers and pillagers, I'm going to need some kind of a defense barrier. Um, I've been trying to watch a few videos here and there that... Well, okay, I haven't watched them. I put them in my need-to-watch pile um, on how do you stop these things from coming in and destroying your village. So I kind of need to do that. That's a, a gotta do. So if I'm going to do a fence, I know what my fence is going to look like. Like that part, that's easy. I've already designed one in another world I was in, and I have been dying to find some reason to use it again. Like just any reason at all. I really, 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 really want to like have it. And now I have a reason. Yay! But it's not so good on mountainous areas. So wherever it goes, I'm going to have to kind of flatten out the area a little. Because it's just, it's not going to work. There we go. Oh, missed a log. All right. We got a weird curve there. Uh, that might be enough to get us started. In the Baconator server, I kind of built something along this line, but it wasn't quite the same. I really like this view, honestly. This this is a really good view. I do need to take out that. That's got to go eventually. I like those buildings. I'm not sure I like these ones as much. I might take those out and put something else in there instead. Because, yeah, that just is ugly. I am taking out the buildings like this from up there. They're just coming out. They're going out. Uh, and you know some YouTubers who played a mod that might have similar mechanics to update. Okay. Oh, you're going to go get dinner? All right. See you later. Thanks for popping in. Um, I'll be here for quite a while later. So, yep, yep. Oh, sorry, there's like a billion different um, things popping up on my things here. And I'm like, no, no. 
No. No. No. Turn off. Phone, stop. I am doing other things right now. I might need that. I don't want to need that, but I think I might need that mountain. I don't think this is going to be enough. I really don't. Now, I want to show you the color combination options. Um, and it's going to cause us a bit of issues if you like one versus the other. But yeah, if you have resources anywhere that can show me what the new um, planes videos look like, or the planes, what the actual buildings are going to look like in the pillage and village, or village and pillage, and, oh my gosh, what they're going to look like, that I would love to know. So the idea is I want to go with dark colors and light colors. This fencing will eventually be replaced with the actual barrier wall. So the only time that there will be fencing anywhere is going to be like around the stable because you kind of need it around the stable. It's on there. Hello, chicken. Am I full? I don't know if I'm full. Did I pick it up? I picked it up. All right. Oh, I have a couple spaces. There you go. Okay. Back we go. And so what I am interested in doing is specific color choices. Um, this will completely fill this thing up. Uh, let's put these in first. They're good. Yeah, that's completely full. <laughs> so I have spruce and I have dark oak. So I would be looking at, let me grab a few dark oak. I don't think I actually want to do it in here. Let me go out here. And I have to go get the other blocks. Now to get enough blocks for what I want to do is going to be kind of a pain because I'm going to have to spend some time mining on my own. Oh, you're going to be right back. All right. Um, and that's going to have to happen. So I am going with sort of a black and white theme. These are polished diorite. And let's go to our favorite place for putting stuff. So we have that. Let's do a nice little wall of it. So that would be the floor. And this would be like a railing on it. That's one option. Uh, okay, let's move back a house. I just heard my accent come out. <laughs> like, yes, it's a house. Uh, excuse me to you. And then this is the other option. Oops. Oh, I'm just making a mess. There we go. So we've got this one with this wood. And then we have this one with this wood. And see, I liked this one better because it's far richer in colors. Like, it looks really good. Oh, I'm getting my coasters wrong. There. So that one seems a little lighter. So I don't, I don't know. Let's uh, message. Thank you. So there's that one. The thing is we have a lot of that wood. We're floating in it. But this one just looks better. And in the build that I only managed to get an outline done of, I did use the darker one rather than this one. Now, that was also due to the fact that where I was, it made a difference. So I don't know. Thoughts? Opinions? Everyone's gone. 
Right when I need answers. Everybody's gone. Okay. All right. What I need to do, unfortunately for everybody, I need to take a quick break. I need to answer an email that just popped up. Okay. Thank you for your understanding.
Okay, I really do like that song. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I think everything is dealt with. Uh, I hope everything is dealt with. I am going to go with the dark oak. I know we don't have enough. I know we're going to have way, way too much of this lovely spruce, which we are using. Uh, we're using it for the fencing that we're no longer going to be using. Uh, and we don't have enough diorite to do this, but we're going to go this way because I kind of like it. And the nice thing is I am the one who actually is going to be um, making this, so why not? Okay. Done? Done. Yeah. We're going to need diorite. We're going to need a lot more space in our inventory. Like, seriously. We're going to need one of these. Uh, let's make a trade. I'll take this if you take that. You take that, I'll take that. Because you belong in here. Uh, flush. There we go. And you belong in here. Which means I can take more of you. Yeah, that didn't work out quite as well as I'd hoped. But it was something. Welcome back! You missed my whole I had to go deal with something. <laughs> Yeah, Girl Guides is kind of, um, and it's, it's a bit of a mess right now. We have reached the end of our programming that we have done so far, and we need to get together and do more programming, but getting together is turning out to be difficult, so we're actually going to be doing a meeting on Discord. I have no idea how that's going to work out. I have no idea how that's going to turn out in any way, shape, or form. I am very nervous about it. I don't think nervous quite covers how I feel about it. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Where am I going? Stop. All right, so that's completely full. Um, I don't know what's going to happen if I do that. That may be too many. Uh, and the answer is yes, it is. Oh. But I need the dark oak. I kind of need a lot of it. Um, we can put away. No, we can't. All right. There's six of these. Can they fit now? Yes, they can. Yay! I have spruce planks. Um, there is no more room for spruce planks. So what we will do is, we now have sticks. Uh, okay. Hopefully we can get away with doing this a few times. Spruce, I need one more. And, let's see, I like that it makes four sticks, but at the same time, I really don't have the space for four sticks. Okay, I have cobble on me. Why do I have cobble on me? Hmm. I have room for those. I don't need the cobble. I probably... No, I can't say that either. We'll get rid of that one. We'll take this one. Um, we're going to need the dark oak. That's important. We don't need spruce. Let's get rid of the spruce. We can use the spruce to make things, right? All right, let's do that. All right, let's make things. Yay, things. <laughs> oh, this is really sad. All right, so that gets rid of all of that extra. That allows us, wrong chest, uh, to grab some trees. I don't know if these will even grow in this biome. Like, that is how uncertain I am about this. Hmm. Well, we can only try, right? We only have one more axe. Uh, okay, let's put that away. 
and let's go and grab some iron. We are surrounded by trees, so it shouldn't be an issue to find the wood part. Iron, not so easy. Um, oh look, we have a whole stack of iron. I don't know how I have a stack of iron, but I do. And since we killed all those chickens, we took a lot of the extra chicken downstairs for when we're hanging out in the... Can you eat that other fish? Eh. We're not going to eat it. we got to store it. Okay, so that looks terrible up there. Do we have an iron golem? Has one returned yet? There are three. Although I don't know if I still have enough people. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, we gotta grow some trees. Uh, okay, switch out the bed. Can't remember how close these guys are before they become a problem with each other. So we're gonna need a lot of dark oak. And I want it on this side of the fence so that I can work at whatever hour and do stuff. All right, chicken, you're gonna have to move because I don't want you to die when this suddenly grows. And I have been killed by a tree. Not on here, but a tree did decide to grow where I was standing. I was walking along over it, which I guess is kind of my fault. Uh, I don't know if that'll go there. And yeah, it caused an issue. A very huge issue to my health. All right, now we can go back and get the egg without walking over these. Did I pick up your egg already? Where is your egg? Don't stand there, I really mean it. When that comes up, you're, you're toast. You're really toast. Okay, so let us let them do their thing. As long as we're in the chunk and the chunk is loaded, they should still continue to do whatever they're gonna do. So I think, what do you think, chickens? Which, which side is gonna be our front side? Because you can't have a diagonal front side. I mean, this is a spectacular front side, but it doesn't really look at anything but the killing grounds. Hmm. And then we just have to start building, I guess? Oh, it's so hard to decide these things. All right. Um... start by seeing if I have access to my computer on my laptop. Because mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look. Oh, I keep whacking my mic. There we go. I got to put it in the right spot because I did notice last week Friday when I did my videos, I was popping in my mic. And that's never good. Never, ever. And then other days, depending on where the mic is, it, it doesn't show up in the right place. Um, okay. The problem I have right now is that my... I don't know how to... There we go. It's actually a really pretty looking house. Maybe we'll make that one first. I kind of like that. And we'll put it out over here. Because we can. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, I need this. Is this going to be a random house that I built? Just because I can. And I'm going to assume that it's symmetrical because I only have a picture of it in one direction and I have no longer have access to that, that server at all. Um, 
as I look at it, I'm like, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking maybe not. Yeah, I have no... I literally have no means of seeing what it looks like from any other angle. Oh, maybe that was another one. And that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's six. Eh. Eh. It's six. On the server, it was pretty awesome. They did a giant prank. Um where they came in at Halloween and put skeletons on everybody's place. And there were pumpkins everywhere and there was all kinds of stuff everywhere. Seriously, where is my build? There it is. Okay. I am standing in the middle of the killing grounds and looking at another laptop, trying to figure out what I'm doing. I should sleep because that's not good. I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing. <gasps> Come on, guy. You see me. I know you see me. Let's do this. Let's rock. Uh, let's rock over here where I have a little more space. Can you drop me an ender pearl? Thank you. And I can pick it up. Yay. Oh, and I saw that skeleton, but he seems to have despawned. The problem with this whole thing is just literally getting started. Putting down that first block, because once it's done, everything else is organic from it. So I gotta figure out that first block. I don't know if I should do the first one up top or if I should do the first one down below and work my way up. Um, can I get out of the water? That would be awesome. Thank you. The place where I built this was very mountainous. And it didn't have a big hole in it like that does, because that looks terrible. And do we want to build it in? Sorry for taking so long to start this build. Like, the problem is, is once you start it, you're kind of committed. And I really, I get nervous about doing that. Like, I had my plans for the, for the aquarium for a very long time. And then it was a case of where do I put that first block? Where do I commit to it being in this direction versus the other direction? Like, is the butt down at this end or is the face down at this end? And how close to the edge of the water? How close to there? Like, all of that has to be considered before you can do anything. The igloo was a nightmare, too, because it was making sure you had the right stuff going for it as well. Okay, let us start by just, do I have room in my inventory? I do not because I have an ender pearl. All right, guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to use this little space here to put down a few things. I'm gonna put down a bed. I'm going to put down, nope, not you. I'm gonna put down, all right, we'll do it that way then. All right, we'll do it that way too. Ender pearl, some of these, some of those, a lot of those actually. The iron, uh, that's it because I do need that. And I need to turn these into workable material. Let's get rid of some of those. Did any, oh, look at them, they're popping like crazy. We've got trees. 
So it needs to be multiple layers. So let's go up and we now have room in our inventory. I'm going to take out these, whoops. I have a super efficient <laughs> thing here. This could be a problem if I run into something that I don't want to run into. We do need the coal. So we're going to take that and we're going to fill in here and make our first platform. Come on. And got to come out this way. What am I actually building? Uh, don't actually know yet. It's going to be a rather organic build. <laughs> It'll do whatever it does. Um, there was another server I was on and I was building my home. And the only part I got done was the framework before I left that server. So I have a lot of pictures of that framework and I really enjoy what it looked like. And I know what my vision for it was. And so I'm thinking, why don't I just build it here? I don't have to worry about the politicking and about all that type of stuff because it's my server. I can do what I want. So I think I'm going to be building my actual home here. And then I can turn that home into the actual storage area. Like it can become just a storeroom instead. Possibly. I know there's a castle I want to build. It's a, the PvP castle that I built a while ago. Because I know that I didn't build it the way I wanted it. I know it could be better. And that'll give me an opportunity to make it better. Hello, welcome, welcome. I prefer to be called Sonic. All right. Hello, Sonic. I'm Bowler. I prefer to be called Bowler. <laughs> All right. And I just really like the combination of these two colors. So yeah, the in my Facebook page, um, you can actually see it. Now the pictures aren't great because it was raining and snowing when I took the pictures, but I don't have access to that server anymore. I don't even know if it's up and running still. I did see though, when I was looking at Reddit the other day, one of the servers I was on and happily left, technically I was kicked out. Um, yeah, and yeah, I'm just going to swallow that one because it's really funny. Um, yeah, that one's looking for people to join. And I thought, that is too funny because she's still insane. <laughs> the woman who runs it. Oh, no. I went to pick up my juice and it grabbed the coaster and threw it on the floor. And that's not okay. I want my juice. My juice is loaded with ice cubes, so it's just sweating away. All right, so we are building a platform. Yay! I use these same materials actually in the Baconator server now that I think about it. <laughs> I really like this color combination. I just really, really like it. And I have a tendency to build with a lot of glass too, like that. All right, so um, every floor, like this is a floor, therefore it has um, borders around it. If you have stairs going down, which we obviously have to do here, then it is stairs plus you get border to go with it. Um, did you just go up on top? You did. How did you? Oh, okay. Um, what do you think, guy? Do you want to go? 
Okay, that way. Or do you want to go this way? Um, I'm thinking two versus one. We can go both ways. I guess there's no real way to stop that, is there? This probably could have come out further, but I'd like to do another platform. If that one's there, we can drop down one, two, we can put one, I guess, here. You guys are a little too active and my, yeah, my shovel is a little too violent. It's kind of scaring me a little. How long have I been playing Minecraft for? I have been playing since my nephew was 10 and he is 16. So six years now, at least. Wow, I've been playing for a long time apparently. It's good to know. So yep, at least six years. Um, it's the only game I can say I've been playing consistency, consistently in that time frame. There are other games I have played, but this is kind of my main game. Hmm. The difference between this build and the other one that I'm I'm not copying, but I'm going with the same idea behind it, is that the other one was built in mountainous terrain. So it was very different spacing to work with. Ah, no, you cannot be there. Be elsewhere. Okay, while we're down here, let's go have a nap. Excuse me, guy, in my bed. Look, he's like right there. Look at them all. There's a lot of them hanging out here. Which is still why I have no bunnies. Uh, I want bunnies. I'm going to be super excited if I can get some bunnies. And it is my world, so technically I could just create them in. But this is a super non-modded, like, one. They're, it's pure vanilla. As pure as you can get. And I got to tell you, it's kind of a pain because there are times in which I get lost and I will spend hours and hours and hours just trying to find my way back home because I don't know where I am. And I can't get back home because it's vanilla. I can't TP there. I literally have to travel. <sighs> Tackback knows. He sees how upset I get. I'm like, I lost to get in my own world. I can't find where I am. And then... Yeah, I just, I lose my marbles. I just can't find my way home. So it's kind of weird. And I'm not even checking to see if these are even or odd, which is really bad because they're supposed to be and I am not doing it. Yeah, we're going to have to fire me as a builder. Um... All right, guy. We need to we need to build some stairs. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Good. All right. Um. Who killed the chicken? I heard that. These guys don't kill chickens. How did the chicken die? Here's your egg. Where's it said chicken hurt. Who hurt the chicken? This is not okay, guys. Not okay. You do not hurt chickens. And they don't take fall damage. Hmm. That's weird. All right, so we're going to come down here. I'm trying to figure out how I do this. <laughs> there. Hmm. 
I need one more up here. There. These are weird cubes. It's um, a set of cubes that kind of all go together in their own little way. Sort of. There's pathways and levels and and such. I don't know how well it's going to work here because we don't have the same terrain. Oops. Uh, don't have the materials. Now there's going to be some time that I'm going to have to play off stream in which I'm just digging diorite because no one wants to see that. One, two, three, and up. And we are working on building our stairs. And they should only be three wide because for some unreason, I just always build stairs three wide. And then, but I don't think I did that on the other side, did I? Uh, no, I'll have to make that change. Nope, that was not the change that needed to be made. Hmm. Is it this one? Yes. And this one. No, you don't get to sleep there, computer. You have to stay up. Okay. And then as we said, this will have to be one higher. Come on. And that's the wrong button. Yeah. Backing up while pressing the control key will have you fall off the edge. You need the shift key. And sometimes I use the cap lock key, which also does not actually help you. All right, off again. All right, see ya. Enjoy your dinner. There we go. Be careful, chicken. I don't want you taking damage. That's not okay. You are a chicken. And yes, I know I'm eating chicken, and I do understand the irony behind that. But, all right, so we got another box. We need a box under this box. Excuse me, chicken. That's going to be a problem. We have stairs going right through the middle of that. That is not okay. Um... Okay. Hmm. This is the problem with making offset stairs. Well, we'll figure something out. We kind of have to. All right, so that's our upper room. Awesome view, trees that need to go. Uh, then there is going to be a lower room. Awesome view, except for these don't actually go here. These are actually wood. All right, let's build another platform. The idea is you just kind of build a whole series of platforms and then you just kind of connect them all somehow. And you do pathways and trails and all kinds of stuff that all go together. Could use some more of that. Thank you. So I want, I want something down there. And I want something right here. Let's go with something long and narrow here.
The thing about my builds is they're not original builds. I'm not coming up with stuff that people haven't done before. But I am coming up with my own spin on it. Like my bear, it's an aquarium. I wanted a unique shape. Well, the bear is not my design, but the aquarium is. Turning it into an aquarium, that was me. I think that's long enough. It'll do. So this here is a combination of several different builds I have done before, none of which have actually been completed. So it would be nice to see what it's gonna look like when it's actually done. Um, I have come close in a few places, but what I am learning is do not build your major builds in a server. That is what I have learned, especially with my temperament. I am a bit of a control freak and I do freak out about stuff fairly easily. Talk back and tell you. Oh, there's one. All right, off we go. And up here, I'm going to put one here. And I would like it to connect to this one. That was a boo-boo. Uh, fully connect? No, let's not mangle anything. So let's do it here. Ugh, stop placing blocks in the wrong spot. All right, so that's decided that that's how big that one's gonna be. Because I ran out of blocks. <laughs> 